This young man is really a genius. When he went to his mother-in-law's house as a guest, he actually used some discarded materials to build a unique and ornamental fish pond in the backyard of his mother-in-law's house. The finished product was so impressive that everyone called him awesome. I saw the young man using his mother-in-law's dishwashing gloves to use his hands to shape the mixed cement mortar into round cement balls. Then he piled these cement balls on the two plastic frames on the left and right walls, discarding more than half of the plastic frames, etc. After it solidified, the cement ball under him was thrown out along the periphery of the plastic frame, and a wall was built to surround the inside. After such operations, the entire overtime frame was built. Next, the young man prepared the father-in-law. When the old roots of the firewood were brought and cut, they were placed inside the frame. What is this used for? You'll find out if you keep reading, but I'll give it a try here. At this point, you can see that the guy started plastering the inside of the outer wall again, and then used quick foam board to make a very distinctive one. It is not difficult to see that Xiao Huo really put a lot of effort into making the cement board this time. He wanted to give his mother-in-law and his family a surprise and let them know how capable their son-in-law is. He continued to use cement balls on the left and right sides of the outer wall. He suggested to Zheng Xiaoqiang that he should try again later. Remove the solidified cement board inside and remove the foam wrapped around it. Then drive a few nails into the wall inside the frame and attach the cement board to the old tree. It turns out that this is used to support the cement board and then continue to lay some cement on the edge of the cement board. The next operation of blocking the small fire shocked me even more. I saw her using some Hesha Pei cement to create a very interesting shaped object. We can't see what this object looks like yet. Next, if you read on, you will find that Xiao Hu is not only very skilled but also very imaginative. There is a saying that is true. Clicking on a red heart is a sign of affection or not, but it is my duty. Everyone can see that I am here. I believe that I will not be stingy. I will give free small red hearts to our talented craftsmen to encourage us. Come on, your support will always be our craftsmen. The motivation to continue creating is here. Thank you all. Next, the boy placed this uniquely shaped object on the cement board and continued to sit on it and modify it. After some modifications, the more I looked at it, the more it looked like a common animal. Can you guess what is inside? After taking out the two plastic frames, I started to use some different colors of paint to make some finishing touches on the hole to make it more ornamental and visually enjoyable. I have to admire this guy for even having such strong artistic instincts. This fish pond was decorated by him. It's not like a fish pond, it's more like a work of art. It's been recognized by the fire. Everything has been decorated. Then pour nutrient soil into some parts of the inside and put in some organic plants. Of course, don't forget to install water pumps on the water pipes reserved inside. Then, decorate the inside of the pool with free pebbles and lay a piece of pebbles outside the pool. The big electronic then continued to put some flowers and plants in the pond full of water and brought a plate of fresh fish that my father-in-law dropped when he got up early in the morning. Once he sat here, he created a very creative fish pond and it was done. It was great. The question came if you also build various fish ponds with different characteristics. What do you think?